We are also following breaking news on the e-cigarette epidemic. State health officials reporting that there have been more new cases of that serious lung infection linked to vaping in our state. And now they're urging people to not use e-cigarettes altogether. Channel 3's Mike Savino is here with the very latest on this urgent warning. Mike? Yes, Denise and Dennis, six more people here in Connecticut have gone to the hospital, bringing the total to 11 just here in our state. And now there's an urgent warning for people to stop using these devices while there's a federal investigation playing out. And while it's safer than tobacco products as far as products of combustion in the lungs, there apparently still is significant toxicity that we are seeing more and more of. Medical experts are raising concern about vaping and e-cigarette products. Six people have died nationwide from lung illness believed to be connected with these products. Now, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention is investigating a possible connection. Connecticut's Department of Public Health urged residents to stop using vaping products pending the outcome of the study. Public Health Commissioner Renee D. Coleman Mitchell saying in a statement the exact cause of these illnesses has not yet been identified, but we have seen patients suffer from severe infections and there have been fatalities in a number of states. This is a serious public health concern. According to DPH, more than 450 cases of lung disease nationwide have a possible connection to vaping or e-cigarettes, including 11 here in Connecticut. But Christine Mazzotta, owner of Vapor 9, says vaping has traditionally been safe. Vaping has been around in this country for over a decade, and we haven't seen any of this occur until right now. Mazzotta suspects the issue is people adding THC or other chemicals on their own. Dr. Michael Tiger recently told Eyewitness News that this could be a factor, but he also points out that THC has also been viewed as safe. THC in and of itself is relatively safe, and people have been smoking marijuana for years without the toxicity of the, to the lungs that we're seeing. Mazada says products can help people quit nicotine use. You know, it, it's kind of like getting a bad batch of, of antibiotics and then telling the whole world you can't take antibiotics anymore. But Tiger has a lot of concerns about vaping. I think in the end, vaping is going to be considered quite dangerous. I can't recommend it to my patients that this is a good alternative to smoking cigarettes. DPH says those 11 Connecticut residents, uh, the patients rather, range in age from 15 to 50 and that all of them are recovering. Some of them have even been released from the hospital. From the newsroom, Mike Savino, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.